the shortest versus the tallest. It is a question as old as time in basketball. What matters more, speed or height? And that's what I'm gonna cover in today's video. Get pass that to the pack. It is pack here. AKA your mama's best friend. Before this video starts, please be an OG, join the pack and subscribe. I'm gonna go into NBA 2K21 in blacktop, get the tallest player in the NBA and the shortest player in the NBA history and see who would win in a 1v1. I'm curious. I've actually haven't played blacktop once this year. I'm not actually gonna play. I'm gonna simulate it and actually watch the simulation happen. 1v1 ringers versus ballers. I'm gonna do it to 11. I do think 21 is kind of long, especially when it's usually like just a bunch of post ups. But I've never done it on next gen, so I don't know if they, they've actually fixed the mechanic. So this is what we're gonna have to do, okay? So for the tallest NBA player, okay, we're gonna go with Taco Fall. There's been taller players in 2K history, but for my understanding, George Mersenne, who was 7'7", isn't even in the game anymore. But Taco Fall is in the game, and Taco Fall is 7'6", so he is going to be our center, who is the tallest player in the game. But who is he going to play against? And that is obvious, the shortest player of all time, and that is Muggsy Bogues. 5'3", man, just looking at them like this, the height difference is pretty insane. He's at like his waist, that's, that's crazy. But the height difference is insane. Before we get in, I wanna say my piece, okay? In 1v1s, so people like, height doesn't matter in basketball. People like to say that, people say, as long as you're skilled, as you're fast, it won't matter. I agree with you if you're playing full court or even three on threes. I agree with you that height doesn't always specifically matter. Especially if you're a point guard guarding another point guard, like it's not gonna to matter too, too much. But 1v1s are very, very different. Like, very, very different. Taco Fall is seven foot six, and he's probably way slower than Muggsy. Like, it's not even close. Muggsy is probably way faster than Taco, but he probably can't shoot over him easily. If he gets to a 1v1 one -one situation of trying to drive and score underneath him, he's probably going to struggle. Yeah, he could block him if he jumps as high as he can, but the timing is gonna be, have to be perfect. Like, we're talking about an uphill battle for Muggsy. In 1v1s, it does matter. I have a friend, we used to be pretty even. I actually was beating him most of the time in 1v1s. He's six foot four, I'm six foot one. So I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Like, three inch difference, not, not that massive. But then he got better. And even though I got better, I didn't get that much better. He got way better. Now he, he was starting to drive. He started to realize he, he was actually pretty big and he could, you know, body me. And it went from, I'm faster and I can drive, so it doesn't matter, to, oh, this actually matters a lot. So I kind of want to see how it goes from here, okay? We're gonna start it. I'm just going to watch. I am not going to play. This is the first time this year I've actually played Blacktop, or at least seen it, right? So let me choose sides. We have the AI. And let's do it. Muggsy gets the ball first. <sighs> Man, he's walking up the court. I mean, looking at this, that's super intimidating. But he should be able to just drive past him. Yep. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't get blocked there. That's actually really impressive that Muggsy was able to not get blocked. Taco should probably just post him up. Yeah, yeah. It's not only Taco's like tall, he's also massive. That's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair at all. 1-0. This might be kind of a fast game now that it's kind of sad. But still, hey, well, um, it's early. Muggsy should be able to shoot a three over him though. That's what I'm kind of hoping he does. Like, oh! Oh, good finish, Muggsy! See, that's where the speed comes in. As long as you able to be fast enough to get separation, where he can't even like come from behind and block you, that's enough. What is Taco doing? He can't shoot. Like, Muggsy's clearly more skilled than Taco. That's a tough shot. That's not gonna go in ever. Muggsy with the rebound, that's another thing, is that he's gonna struggle with rebounds too. But it's 1-1, okay. This is actually surprising so far. Muggsy also has a way higher rating. The spin hey, yo, move, what the of course, he got swatted, but he gets the rebound right back. Dude, the height difference is literally insane. It's in look at how crazy this is. This is insane. Oh, he made that. That is the hardest contested shot I've ever seen in my life. Okay, 2-1, Muggsy is up. Taco is going to have to literally post him up. Oh my goodness, he's so stronger. Oh, that's away from the basket. That's a bad shot. He put it right back up and bang, of course. That's that's the, that's the gonna be the biggest struggle for him. It's like, even when Taco misses, it's gonna be like an arm's length of rebounding it. And so, that's gonna be tough. You know, can we talk about the graphics for like a quick, that's really good graphics. I've never, Played blacktop this year, and oh my god, he's so much faster. If I was Taco in that situation, I would just back up. Like, yeah, Muggsy could probably shoot, but if he drives by you, he's gonna score every time. But he might not make every three. That's usually my mindset when someone's so much shorter than me. 
Taco has no skill. See, maybe I should have done this with the same rating. Like, they should have been as good as each other. But Taco, you're seven foot six. I'm not gonna give you free passes. Oh my goodness, Muggsy. Oh, I thought he finished that. That would've been insane. That would've been the craziest finish I've ever seen. Taco with the ISO? I mean, he can't shoot. So he literally has to do this every time. But he should do like one spin move, fading away. <laughs> Dad? Taco with a fadeaway. So 3-3, three, three, not bad. Dude, this height difference is literally crazy. You know, it's closer than I thought, but it is one by two, so this might be a longer game. Dude, Muggsy's so fast. Like, it's not even comparable how much faster Muggsy is compared to Taco. It's sad. Taco's gonna have to play perfect if he wants to win this. Also, I'm surprised it's not make it take it. Easy bucket for Taco. I'm surprised it's not make it take it. I do think Blacktop probably should be make it take it, because that's just how it is in real life, you know? Like, who, who doesn't play make it take it on 1v1? Like, who doesn't? God, Muggsy, oh my god. Kind of nasty. You know, this is kind of turning into the same thing over and over again. Taco Fall just, he just does a, a post up fade or post up spin move layup like that. Oh my god. And then it's just Muggsy ISO, like quick first step layup. You would think one of them would try a jump shot here and there. But Muggsy's gonna try it again. That's not gonna work, dude. If he makes this, I'll, I'll freaking, I'll, I'll, thank god I didn't say anything. 6 5. Muggsy is up. Taco's gonna get this easy bucket here, I'm assuming. Huh? Yeah. Oh, he has takeover. Glass takeover, too. Oh, no. 6-6. Six, six. This takeover might literally define everything. I wonder what Muggsy's takeover is. Is it slashing? Do you think he can dunk with slashing? That is such a tough bucket, and he got that. How does Muggsy not have takeover? Like, has he missed? He's missed, like, one shot. No way he makes that. Yeah, there's no way. Okay, this is Muggsy's chance, because it's win by two. He, he kind of has to get his bucket here. But Taco's just presence. I mean, he's just so tall. All right, Muggsy, come on. Give him one move. Yup, that's a bucket. Ooh, maybe not. Man, with glass takeover, Taco couldn't get it. Reset, Muggsy. Get back to the three-point line. Shoot a three. Do something. No one wants to see you do the same thing over and over again. Oh, that's tough. That's not going to happen. Yeah. Oh! He didn't take it. But he didn't need to take it back because he just literally just blocked him. Okay, 7-7. Seven, seven. Not great for Taco. Taco kind of got broke there. Oh my god, what a block. This is literally breaking the hearts of everybody who was running for Muggsy. That's kind of sad. That was a nasty block, honestly. Oh. Oh no, this is looking bad, guys. This is looking bad for Muggsy. No. Please have mercy. Oh my god, this is looking bad. It's fine, it's fine. Everyone is freaking out. The dream is not dead yet, but it, it might be. You gotta let Muggsy hit a three there. I mean, Muggsy needs to shoot. Damn, he's so much faster. 8-8. Eight, eight. It's been a slow game because no threes have been shot. But why shoot a three when you can literally score in the basket every time and never miss? That's a tough shot. doesn't matter. Easy bucket. I mean, literally Muggsy is like in his face. 3% contested. That's crazy. Okay, 9-8. Muggsy, you have to score here. Like, this is where it can get out of hand real quick. You have to score here. But Taco, showing his presence, is not going to be stopped. Oh, no, man. This is not looking good. Yup. Yup. That's a tough shot again, but it doesn't matter. He's so tall that even when he gets stopped, he can just do one move and then it's an open layup. 10-8, Muggsy, shoot a three. That's not the move. He made that. That is the most contested shot I've ever seen in my life. All right, Taco, this is it. You can't let Muggsy have a chance here. You have to end it right here. Spin move and that's good. And he dunked it too. Damn, that is... You know, Muggsy actually did a pretty good job, if we're being honest. And I liked, I, first of all, I like how Blacktop is now. It's not just post up, post up, post up. Like, Muggsy's not gonna post up Taco, like before they used to do that. Now he's actually taking him off the dribble. But I hate that Muggsy didn't shoot a single three that whole time. But still, you know what? That was actually pretty, pretty good. Muggsy had six rebounds, nine points, missed half his shots, while Taco only missed four shots. Six blocks. Yeah, that's kind of what happens. What do you guys think about this matchup? Do you think 2K is realistic or not? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like this channel, give it a sub. And I'll see you guys next time.